Dude, you almost kicked my nuts. You're lucky my hand was there. Stupid ninja. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the first Let's Dish. This week is Green Lantern, the extended cut. These two haven't seen it, and we're gonna introduce them first. You are AJ! And I know very little about this magic ring man. I know he can make green things like giant hammers and I guess surfboards or whatever, right? Oh, you said to. whatever he can imagine. Yeah. Which makes him just about the most overpowered superhero in existence, so long as he has a pretty good imagination. Unless maybe that is his downfall and he's very uncreative. <laughs> that might make a good movie. I am Nate. Thank you. Nate. Thanks, Nate. Is that all you're gonna say? <laughs> what are your thoughts on Ryan? And... I'm excited to watch Ryan. I don't know why this has become a baton, but it has. <laughs> it's the talking. It's the talking. It's the talking. Talking day. I am Jake. I love Green Lantern. I watched this movie with Jim. No fun. In the theater. I am Jim. This movie stinks. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Now. I love the movie, <laughs> but it's not good. <laughs> not good. I know you have an interesting history with this, Jake. Jake loved this movie while it happened and after it for like two weeks. And I still love it. I know it's a bad movie. I understand. But for those two weeks, you thought it might have been good. Well, well walking out of the theater. through his head. I, I lived with it, and yeah. <laughs> no, it's not good. But. It's but, like, oh, yeah, I love that part. Oh, wait. Wait. No, I didn't. <laughs> I still love it. I still love it. I just know it's a bad movie. But we'll get into that after we watch the movie. That we'll begin. Hey guys, it's Jake here. I'm actually editing the Let's Dish for Green Lantern that you're watching right now. But I wanted to let you know that if you go down into the description below, you're going to find two links there. One for the theatrical and one for the extended cut. Both Can I Stream It links. I include both because it, it, some might be different on the extended version. I'm not 100% sure on that. One quick look, it just looked like it was seeing the theatrical cut again. If you want to press your luck and try one of those, be my guest. Both options are there, or you can do your own search, you can find it whatever way you want, but there are some legal options for you in the description for you to view. Uh, besides that, uh, uh, subscribe, like us, share us with your friends, uh, on with the show. What'd you guys think? Yeah. This movie was extremely predictable, no. and I did enjoy the giant poop monster main villain. That was he was a skeleton. He was pretty easily defeated. I like the design. He was pretty cool. Besides the big, he like he the was big the, cloud monster. He was he the was big star. Yeah. He was the best Star Fox villain I've seen in a long time. Is that the only reason? Because he reminds you of Andrew. I actually like the, the skeleton that was going That was cool. Yeah, the designs on this. Besides that, he planned. Big old poop monster. Face so poop you, monster. you were supposed to be the the one of the guardians that went in one base and went to the air. On the uh, in the circle of guardians, one of the towers of broken world, assuming that is. I adored the sub villain. He was my favorite part of this whole thing. He is the creepiest person in Hector Hammond ever. He's that weird dude that you see at the mall. Hi. He tries to avoid them, but he he comes up to you anyway. Man, he was great. He was horrible. The beginning scene with the kid, that was just ridiculous. That was probably where most of the nine minutes for this extended cut came from. All that was pretty much cut, we just had it in flashbacks in the theater. Which kind of, which yeah. adding it in just makes it repetitive. Exactly, the flashbacks, we yeah. see it like five minutes later, and it's fucking retarded and ridiculous. And that's just because they threw it into the extended cut. So that's right. supposed to be there. But there it is. I hate it. His mask. It's creepy. Especially that one part where he's face down on the ground and he opens his eyes. It's more like his eyeball just appears well, out of nowhere. <laughs> what about the suit in general, though? Dude, the rest of the, the rest suit's fine. The suit is fine. The mask is fine. The mask is fine. The mask is fine. The mask too. Yeah. It literally looks like the, the animation from The Mask, the movie, where it's all just like moving on its own. Not like it's, like you can literally tell it's just flopped on there like terribly. 
If they would have went with a standard mask and like yeah. put it on him and then used a little green eyeliner like a normal superhero movie, it probably would have been fine. The whole, all of the CG the suit was fine. The suit was fine. Oh, it was fine at in parts. Parallax was pretty bad. Well, Parallax is face. Parallax should have been a giant bug creature and not a cloud monster. I'd say another sad thing with this movie is I knew that kid was the villain from the first time I showed him. When he was like, I don't want to go out and watch. It's too boring. I was See, just I like, okay, was okay well this guy's going to grow up to be a bad guy. Because his, his dad would hate him because he's like, oh, it's your little kid. And here's, here's your... <laughs> Someone friends he's like, oh yeah, my dad's so cool. He goes up there. Oh, it's the Steve's uh, star. He's like, oh, I'm a friend. No, he is, uh, fears were real justified. Because that motherfucker blew up. <laughs> yeah. Two minutes. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the worst superhero. It's not. No, yeah, no. It's not, like, you know, incredibly terrible. But it, it, at moments, it is laughably bad. But yeah. I mean, it's incredibly bad. It has bad. its moments, though. I, I mean, I hate the main character. He's a douche. But at the same time, he is treated like a douche very properly in this movie. I liked how it was if they they were real in that his girlfriend recognized him. How? She just steps out and it's just like, You think I wouldn't recognize you because I can't see your cheekbones? I've seen you naked. As I mentioned before it happened, if she doesn't recognize him, I'm gonna be very upset. Because we all know that those masks masks are ridiculous to begin with. Yes. They don't cover anything. Like Superman. Your hair is exactly flat. the same way it was. <laughs> it had too many writers. If you looked at that writing credit, there were like five people on it. I believe two or maybe three of those writers have done good superhero work. <laughs> they have. They made Arrow. They're now doing the Flash TV show. They've done things that do handle those characters very well. I'm, I'm going to say what I said before. Mm -hmm. If they really wanted this to be a good movie, they should have just went with the main plot first and done Sinestro, probably. Like, they had it all set up. They could have just spun the movie at that moment when Sinestro is about to use the ring to just make him go, fuck you, I'm going to use the ring. Here's my problem with them doing that. And then they still got like 30 minutes to do whatever the fuck they want. I guess, but we didn't, we didn't spend enough time with those characters. So. Yeah, I think that you need that to spend mind. more time with Sinestro to do that story. So that show him a good sequel. See, I would think the first movie would build up the relationship between Hal and Sinestro. Yeah, we, we, we only spent got five minutes on Oa. Yeah, we got a five minute silly scene of training. Yeah. I, honestly, I expected them to whip his ass into shape. Green Lantern can be done. I, I feel it could be done very, very, very well. To the point where it's like my favorite thing. But I've had you read some comics. Yeah, and I really like I had you even read the origin story. This is semi-based on it. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna give it a five. Yeah, straight in the middle. It, it wasn't the most terrible thing I've ever seen. No, they did some cool things. They tried. I could see that, but it wasn't good. No, it wasn't good. There's a lot. Of good. Nate, you said you were giving it a zero point zero two. Slow like that. That's pretty low. I'm gonna bump it up to a six. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> six, huh? that's basically a full six points. <laughs> yeah. Go <laughs> with six. Okay. Jake, what do you think? It did make me laugh. I know you say you love it. I love it, but I understand it's a bad movie. I, I'm more of a four when you find. I'd probably be around where Jake is. It made me laugh. Like what? What made you laugh? It doesn't feel like it's good. Well, since this is the last superhero movie we've had, how much hope does this fill you with? It's party. Well, it's a different creature. I mean, it'll be cheesy. I can tell already that it's gonna be cheesy. At no point did we ever think Guardians was gonna be cheesy. I now. hate douchey hero. And that Star Lord, Lord is a douchey hero. Yes, that movie looks like it is a whole other full of douchey heroes. Yeah, but the whole lineup seems like that. Right. And it's not exactly the kind of thing I like. Yeah, not one of these. Can I rack him and be a douche? I saw okay, the trailer. It looks pretty douchey. Uh, I think I think we did this topic into the ground for the video. Yeah. That's all right. Let's pull this Edit out. down the crap. Edit down the crap. Yeah, I, you'll see us next week when we do what's it called? TMNT coming out of their shelves. Is that, is that yeah. The coming out of their shelves. Cool. But that will be next week when we 
celebrate the release of Michael Bay's TMNT. We'll see you next week. <laughs> silly. Oh, silly anime for its cool visual. You know, You're all on camera. Oh yeah, I forgot. They can still see me. A lot of the uses were still good. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, on the couch! I knew when I get back on the couch. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we're gonna slop down there now. We saw it so much. What are you doing? I'm getting more comfortable. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm trying to shoot a goddamn show. They can still see me perfect. <laughs> if, if not better.